Hey guys, it's Dana. And today is the perfect day to get cozy on your couch with your favorite blanket after we sew it. We all love blankets. I'm sure you have made a bunch for yourself or for gifts. And one of my favorite ways to make these is to keep it simple, as I like to do, with one large piece of fabric and then to back it with this really soft, fuzzy Sherpa fleece. It's amazing. So we're gonna make one and I'm gonna share some tips with you about how to get these perfect corners. So here's what you need. Fleece fabric and cotton fabric. As with any project, you can make this any size. And as you can see, I've made quite a few. I love this size right here. It's kind of a good lap blanket or it's great for toddlers and kids. This one is probably my favorite. And my kids love it too. The first night I made it, my daughter took it to bed with her. I mean, look at this. It's right around super cozy. And today for this video, we are going to make this cute little doll size blanket. Or it could be used for a little baby as well. And in the video description, you can find dimensions for all these different blankets. So let's grab our fabric. The thing I really love about this project is that it's simple, yet you get this really kind of high-end looking product when you're done. And I'm just using one piece of fabric here, but if you're a quilter, this is a really cool technique. You can imagine your beautifully pieced together top of your quilt and then this really soft backing. I mean, there are so many options that you can do with this. Okay, I have cut my top fabric the dimensions that I want my finished blanket to be. Then you need to think about how wide you want your border to be. I like to do two and a half inches, which will fold over like this. Then you need to add another half inch that is going to be tucked under for the raw edge. So basically, you wanna cut your fleece fabric three inches wider all the way around. Awesome. Now, we're gonna start by top stitching along the blanket, kind of like you would with a quilt to kind of hold the two pieces together. And the thing that's great about this fabric is that it's got all these lines here for me. This picnic plaid is from my day trip fabric collection, which is just everything I love about Texas. You've got cactus, tacos, blue bonnets. Oh, I love living in Texas. Okay, so we're gonna go to our sewing machine, sew these two together. If you were making a larger blanket than this, you may want to pin these two layers together and make sure that you have the wrong sides together and that everything is really smooth so you don't end up with any bubbles anywhere. But the thing that's so cool about this fabric is that it kind of like sticks to your fabric. It's like this little self-adhesive. Can you see that? It's amazing. So you know what? I'm not pinning anything. I'm going to my sewing machine. I'm threading my machine and I'm going to use white in the bobbin so that it blends in well with this fuzzy fleece right there. And then for the top, I am going to use orange thread because I think that will coordinate well. And look at your fabric and decide how you want to top stitch. I think with this plaid, I'm going to do one, two, three lines and then one, two, three. So, and if you haven't noticed, I have a new sewing machine here, which, oh, it's so fun to have a new sewing machine. So fun to open the box, to look at all the new, little bells and whistles. And this one is part of the Genuine series by Baby Lock, which is such a cute concept. It's all about how do you feel when you sew? Do you feel joy, which is one of the machines? Do you feel zeal? Do you feel brilliant, which is my machine here? And I just think it's awesome. Okay, do your little automatic threader there, which I love. And we're ready to go. Okay, I'm gonna start in the middle, which I think will help make sure everything is staying smooth like that. So bring your fabric over like this. And something about this fabric is that it definitely, it's a little bit of a workout. You have to kind of use both arms to get the fabric through. If you like to sew with a walking foot, you might try that, but you don't need that. So here we go, little forward and back stitch. And I am sewing right on top of those lines, kind of a, well, stitch in the ditch concept of just going on top of the lines I see. Okay, here I go, two hands. Pulling it through. And I have my machine on the fastest setting. If you feel like that's too fast for you, you can always slow down here to make sure you're getting right on top of those lines. Whatever works. This is a great time to listen to your favorite podcast, have a movie on, something like that. Yeah, listen to that machine. Sounds awesome. Okay, when you get to the end, you're gonna do a back stitch again. 
cut your threads. I love my automatic cutting feature. And then I'm gonna go to the next line, right here. Okay, just keep doing this, sewing your lines this way, your lines that way, and then we'll meet back up. Okay, I'm at the end here, my last line. Cut my threads. Okay, let's see how it looks and then let's work on the corners. Now what my top stitching has done is that it created this little grid on top of my fabric and you can see it on the back side too. And it's subtle, but it will really help hold those two layers together over time. Now the concept is that we want to have our border enclosing all these raw edges of our top fabric and just, you know, making a little picture frame around it. But as you can see, if I did it like that, we end up with a lot of bulk here in the corners. So let's fix that. Take this back apart. And I am using a quilting ruler and I got a little marker here. We're gonna go over to the corner and I wanna place one of these lines of my rulers so that it's making a 45 degree angle with that right angle right there with the corner. And then I'm gonna overhang it just a half of an inch. Okay, and I'm going to draw a line right there. And I'm using this fabric marker. You could just use any marker. It's not gonna show later. There we go. I'm gonna do that to all of my four corners. Cutting at the 45 degree. Overhanging a half of an inch. And then we are going to, yes, we're going to cut that off. I know it's always scary to just cut into your fabric right now. Trust, trust, it's gonna work. It's gonna be awesome. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now let's just cut these off. Okay, there we go, all four corners off. And you know, working with this fabric can be a little messy at times. Resist trying to clean anything up until you're totally done. Okay, take one of these corners, we're gonna go back to our sewing machine, and what we're going to do is to take the right side of this fabric, and put the two ends together, and we're gonna sew with a half inch seam allowance, we're gonna sew right along there, so that it's kind of creating this, well, so that the corners are kind of snug, and it's gonna fit right on our blanket. It's kind of like magic. So let's go to our sewing machine. I threaded with some white thread, and now I'm gonna grab the first corner. Like I said, right sides of the fleece together. And, and don't worry if when you cut, it wasn't perfect. This project is very forgiving and with all that fuzz there, it's gonna work out. Okay, come to your machine. It's gonna be a little thick here, so my machine, I can give an extra lift on my presser foot there. And I'm starting basically, I'm gonna do a half inch seam allowance, which means I'm starting at that little corner of my top fabric, my plaid fabric. Okay, forward and back stitch. And again, get both hands in there. And sew right down. Back stitch, cut my threads. Okay, you can see what we've done here is we've created this little, let me turn it around, kind of pocket, pocket? I don't know, snug little, I told you it was magic. Okay, let's do the other corners. Okay, I've done my last corner. Let's see how it looks. Okay, here's our blanket, and this is my favorite part. Turn all those little corners over, under, over, and poke them out. Oh my gosh, look at that. It really did make like a picture frame around our blanket. I mean that, well, first of all, it's just adorable. And it's a really cool technique. If you look at these corners, they're nice and flat. You don't have all that bulk and it just looks pretty professional. Okay, now we wanna enclose these raw edges because as you can see, it's getting everywhere. So fold it under a half of an inch and don't worry if you're not being totally precise. You can just kind of eyeball it and grab your pins. You do want a pin here. Just go like that. And we're just gonna pin all the way around. And you can kind of just feel where the edge is. With this plaid fabric, it's nice because I can kind of see exactly how to make a straight line here. Okay, just keep pinning all the way around. 
And when you get to the corner here, if you were using a fabric that was just a woven, this might be a little tight here because we had the seam go over a half of an inch. So, but with this fleece, it kind of stretches a little and I actually really like that it does that because it makes it really snuggly around. It just holds it really nicely. So you can see, I have my fabric here and it just, it tucks under really nicely. So just pin that corner in place, just like you did on the side and keep going around. And then we're gonna go to our sewing machine and then we're done. Yay! Ah, oh, I love simple projects. I'm starting in the middle of one of these sides here. Ugh, that's a lot of bulk there. Okay, get it in there. Okay, then I'm gonna sew as close to the edge as I can, but making sure that I'm actually catching the edge of the fabric. Because with this fuzzy fabric, you might just be sewing on little peripheral pieces rather than sewing on the fabric. So I can feel with my hand where that edge is. So do a forward and back stitch. Use both hands, the force of your body if needed. And sew all the way down. Okay, when you get to the corner, just sew down, keep your needle right there and do a pivot and turn. And go down the other side. Whoops, I got off my fabric there. Back stitch, there we go, back on. Okay, I made it back to the beginning, do a back stitch, cut my threads, and then you always wanna do a little quality inspection. Make sure that everything's sewed through. If you find any spots that look like they need a little more attention, go back and fix that spot. Okay, we look pretty good. Okay, let me show you one final thing. And look at this darling little blanket that you made. And so extremely soft. <laughs> I really love this. Okay, final thing I said I was gonna show you. Grab that lint roller and grab all those little things off of there. Get rid of it all. Especially if you're giving this as a gift. You want it to look nice and polished and finished. And oh, <laughs> take a little, you know, self inventory as well. Can't tell you how many times I've gone to pick up my kids, pick up my kids from school and, you know, threads on my clothes. Okay. Oh, enjoy your little blanket. I hope you make 10 more. And for more ideas and tutorials, check out my website, madeeveryday.com. And for information about sewing machines and the new genuine series of sewing machines, go to babylock.com, where it's all for the love of sewing. I'm gonna go get cozy on my couch. I'll see you next time. Bye. You're still here? Go. Go to madeeveryday.com. Check out tutorials, patterns. Go. I don't know, is this totally stupid? Yes, <laughs> Okay, we won't do it for everybody, we'll just try it and see how it is. <laughs>